Color me not shocked. Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm back with another video, and Tom Shippey's dismissal was one of the first big red flags associated with the Amazon series. And if this is true, if this rumor is true, granted, it's not confirmed, paints a whole new light surrounding that dismissal. Given what Amazon has allowed happen to Tolkien's lore, in my personal opinion, it's far more believable. But at any rate, let's dive into this article so we can get a gauge of what this rumor entails. So without further ado, here it is. A new rumor claims that Tom Shippey, the Lord of the Rings scholar and former consultant on the Rings of Power, because I'm not fucking associated that piece of shit with Lord of the Rings, was fired from the Prime Video show because he was warning them they were, quote, polluting the lore. If you go by OneRing.net, those fucking cucks and shills, lore is racist. When Prime Video first announced the Lord of the Rings series in July 2019, they revealed Chippy was part of the production as a Tolkien scholar, which piqued my interest, got me a little bit on board, because, hell, he's a genuine Tolkien scholar, not the one of those shitheads on Twitter that puts scholar in their name. No, an actual scholar. And they had him on board. He was associated with it. Okay, fine. I'm not going to be completely on board with this show, but let's see where it goes. I trusted him. Then, he was subsequently fired. However, back in February, Vanity Fair led their readers to believe, because fuck Vanity Fair, Shippy was canned for giving, quote, an unsanctioned interview to a German fan site where he opined on what the show could and could not explore. All right? Seemed very, very ridiculous at the time. I did not exactly let it slide. I thought it was just strange, but at the same time, given how petty and stupid studios like Amazon could be, I figured probably believable. Probably believable, given how I've seen studios act. But now, now this new rumor from YouTuber George Molo of YouTube channel George the Giant Slayer claims Shippy was actually canned because he was warning Prime Video they were, quote, polluting the lore. Standing up, pretty much, if this is true, standing up and, sent and protecting Tolkien's legacy. Molo states, I'm now beginning to believe the real reason that Tom Shippey was fired wasn't because he gave some interview to a German magazine that broke his NDA. That's, you get a slap on the wrist for that. That's why I felt it was strange. Again, given how petty and stupid studios could be, I didn't exactly think much of it, but at the same time, it's like, you get a warning. You get a warning. If he didn't exactly, entirely break the NDA... You get a warning, you get a slap on the wrist, and they move on. But he was fu he was fired. He re then revealed, It's because I heard from three separate sources that he would weekly tell the Bobsy twins. I have far more choice words in describing these showrunners of Payne and McKay that Prime is polluting the lore. But let's go with Bobsy twins for now. Not only would Molo detail this rumor regarding Shippy's firing, but he would also excoriate Prime Video for including nudity in the show as revealed in a number of behind-the-scenes photos from the production as well as a newly released photo from the show. Molo says, The professor never once hinted, hinted at carnal nudity or lascivious sexuality ever in his writing. Period. End of statement. He later stated, this John Ronald Ruel Tolkien, J.R.R., what we're talking about. A man who never sold out his writing or what he believed for cheap thrills of exposed nipples. Boom. Alright. While specifically discussing the images, Molo details this is the exact opposite of what Patrick McKay told Vanity Fair in February. Oh my fucking shocker. A showrunner fucking lied. He then quoted Vanity Fair. So will there be Westerosi levels of violence and sex in Amazon's Middle Earth? In short, no. McKay says the goal was, quote, to make a show for everyone, for kids who are 11, 12, and 13, even though sometimes they might have to pull the blanket up over their eyes if it's a little too scary. A little too scary? I'm not worried about that. I know a lot of adults who wouldn't let their kids see that. I wouldn't let mine. Absolutely not. Especially as it dishonors uh, the professor's writing. It's repulsive. To kind of backtrack a little bit, in terms of kids nowadays, I'm sorry, I was watching a lot of scarier shit than this, to be, to be perfectly honest. They need to kind of, you know, 
In letter 131 to Milton Waldman, Tolkien wrote, For reasons which I will not elaborate, that seems to me fatal. Myth and fairy story must, as all art, reflect and contain in solution elements of moral and religious truth or error, but not explicit, not in the known form of the primary real world. I am speaking, of course, of our present situation, not of ancient pagan, pre-Christian days, and I will not repeat what I tried to say in my essay which you read. The Catechism of the Catholic Church makes it clear, all the baptized are called to chastity. The Christian has put on Christ the model for all chastity. All Christ's faithful are called to lead a chaste life in keeping with their particular states of life. At the moment of his baptism, the Christian is pledged to lead his effective life in chastity. It goes on to identify a number of offenses against chastity, including lust, which is disordered desire for or inordinate enjoyment of sexual pleasure. Sexual pleasure is morally disordered when sought for itself, isolated from its procre procreative and unitive purposes. It also identifies pornography, which consists in removing real or simulated sexual acts from the intimacy of the partners in order to display them deliberately to third parties. It offends against chaste chastity because it perverts the conjugal act, the intimate giving of spouses to each other. It does grave injury to the dignity of its participants, actors, vendors, the public, since each one becomes an object of base pleasure and illicit profit for others. Okay? One person's opinion. Alright? It immerses... All who are involved in the illusion of a fantasy world. It all is grave offense. Civil authorities should prevent the production and distribution of pornographic materials, the Catechism asserts. Part of the reason why I'm not Catholic. But anyway. Clearly Prime Video do not believe in Tolkien's view, and Molo even posits. They have been lying to us this whole time. Forget the lore. Forget the story. They butchered all that. We already saw that with Wheel of Time. They told us one thing. They did another. It was a disaster. He continued. Then they tell us, no, there's not going to be any types of Game of Thrones style sex. And then they bring on an intimacy coordinator. They're saying that's just for some kissing scenes. Not for the LGBTQ scenes, which we are going to explore. Not going to be for the nudity or sex scenes, which we are going to explore. No. But we hired an intimacy coordinator. And they put out a casting notice in New Zealand. Again, like, why would you need an intimacy coordinator for just kissing scenes? Alright, uh, granted there has to be a fucking level of chemistry between the actors and so forth to get a believable scene, but fuck on, come on. Seriously? Towards the end of his video, Molo also noted Prime Video believes this is the perfect opportunity to not only dishonor Tolkien, to use the estate to the Tolkien estate, who all they care about is cashing a check, but this is a way to cement our legacy and honor Bezos' command, bring me Game of Thrones. Fuck Bezos, pretty much. So what do you make of this latest rumor regarding Shippy? What about the nudity in the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power? Blah, 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 blah. It's just Rings of Power, not fucking Lord of the Rings. Sorry, not Lord of the Rings. Fuck that. No, we're connected to Lord of the Rings. But anyway, like I said, Grant, until Shippy really comes out and kind of confirms this, it's just a rumor. However, however, given what we know that Amazon has been letting happen to Tolkien's legacy... With the Rings of Power, the insertion of new characters where they don't belong or doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, blatant race swapping, just for the sake of race swapping, to add diversity and so forth. For the showrunners themselves, the Bobsy twins, pretty much, saying that they're going to write the story Tolkien never did. They're going to connect the stars, the dots in the way that Tolkien never did and tell the story he never could. Never, like, you know, that, all that leads me to fucking believe this rumor. But anyway... Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Do you believe with this? Do you believe this? Do you disbelieve it? Let me know all that down in the comments. Are you planning on watching Rings of Power? Are you not planning on watching Rings of Power? Are you on the fence still? Let me know all that. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Share on social media if you will. I was hoping to be live on my Twitch tonight, but my uh, PC is not reading my PlayStation 5 controller, so I had to order an Xbox One because Xbox... The app came with the PC, so fuck it. Just every little goddamn thing. But anyway, I ordered one. should be here tomorrow, so hopefully by Thursday, I will have everything situated, and I can return to Twitch because I miss streaming on there. I miss gaming so much, pretty much, right now. But at any rate, again, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. This is Mara Jade. Catch you on the dark side, and fuck Amazon.